video. It is Lexi Mars and me. and legs. Legs. What is up with legs? Legs has been in my life for I don't know. Seems like forever. Uh, about a year and a half, right when COVID started. Mm. I was like, I'm not. I don't want to hang out with anybody. I don't want to. So. I don't want to do this. Had a bunch mm. of Beanie Babies as a kid. Found this online, and somebody made that meme. That's like physically or mentally, I'm here, but physically, I am a Beanie Baby frog. And I'm like, that's that's me. Is I that where the it. thing came oh, from? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody I've knows seen it, the frog, yeah, but I've never I've known the it. origin of the frog. Oh yeah, yeah. it was a meme and. You know, I have it tattooed on me, and then... Oh, wow. Oh, she has yeah. literally the Beanie Baby on her. Oh, yeah. It's... The exact one. Oh, shit. Oh, mm -hmm. that's tight. That is dope. But she's the best. She uh, comes to work, and she works harder than I do half the time, but... <laughs> the homies? That's what we can do. Word. See, I always, mm -hmm. for some reason, just because of the way the world is, I thought maybe frog was like an anagram, you know, like how they do for uh, forklifts. I was thinking about the Jesus one, like the fully relying on God. What is that one? The frog, like the oh, fully relying. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, about yeah, like yeah. twenty years ago, everybody was like, I don't see, that, but no, see the it's forklift. Not it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not, it. not. That's it's not. not it. The forklift one is for milfs. It's like, man, I like forklifts. Mm. So if somebody's like, what's what's milf? Why why are you man, like I why like you search frogs. milfs? Man, I like forklifts. I don't. So people follow. will be like forklift certified and <laughs> oh ah uh, yeah it's like yeah. a it's like a runoff of oh, that okay. so I thought maybe that was like something on that and I was like I missed the boat <laughs> <laughs> where is it where did yeah. it go what is that about yeah. no but uh no. they say it's one of the easier beanie babies to get your hands on three bucks on eBay boom don't don't you feel like that's gonna change now I mm. hope so. He, because it's becoming like a cultural yeah. thing, like yeah, it started to blow up, yeah, for sure. It's a it's a pretty big thing on Facebook. They have, um, sir, this is a frog post with like a hundred thousand oh. members on Holy that. Shit. Do you think this is also like a spinoff of like the sipping tea Kermit? Oh yeah, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a it's like a cinematic universe of frogs. Yeah, we can hope. Are... That's all we can hope for. Word. So we'll see what happens. We'll hmm. check in in like a year and see see where it's where it's at, yeah. what her retirement value is. But after all this time, would you want to get rid of her though? No, no, mm -mm. no. I have about three hundred in storage of Beanie Babies. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were wow. going to say like frog oh, Beanie no. Babies. <laughs> like when it's she just gets too dirty, you're just like <laughs> she just switches them out. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> get a no, bath. Just this one. Yeah. She needs one. She's. Anyways. So does she have brothers and sisters or are they just frogs or like is this a world where it's like their brother might be a, a pig? We have a bunch of beating babies at the house that stay out of storage. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have Santa hats on right now because it's festive. I respect but... it. So you bought the Santa hat separate? Oh, yeah. Like she didn't even have the bow until. Oh, wow. I thought that was a theme. I thought so frog. too. I was like, I mm -hmm. thought that was. No, this you is did a, really good on that. A tie beanie, and then I super glued a bow on there, and then mm -hmm. she has her stapled hat for her work. But um, word. But yeah, it's a regular tie beanie that everybody was obsessed with. About I don't want to date myself with my age, but twenty five years ago. No, I remember when yeah. like Beanie Babies were blowing up when I was like i think i i think i missed that i feel like it like started to blow up or right before like pokemon blew up mm -hmm. mm. it's like right before that and then people were like oh but things can be electronic yeah and mm -hmm. like i mean those still had yeah. their like you know that and like pogs you know like the coins and the oh those mm -hmm. were awesome with the little yeah you had like a harder coin and then you had like other coins he's very young yeah I'm he's super, super young. young he's like 20 i'm a young 20, 23. Child. 23. 23. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you should know, but it's fine. No, it's cool. What even came out when you were born? When were you born? 1998. Mm. 98? 1998. Wow. Holy hey, shit. Hey, man, just do math real quick. I'm sorry. In my head, I was like 93. No. <laughs> and then I was like, bro, you were no, barely 23? born in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, no, 98, <clears throat> man. man. Not much came wow. out. Dude, what, is, what the hell was even going on in 98? Like, dude, you were born right when wrestling really started. Yeah. I mean, I was around for. I mean, yep. You were you were born after cell phones were almost readily available. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so I remember when I was like eight, 
seven or eight probably my parents just got like the razors yeah. you know that was wow. like the big fu- like that was the big move so it was, and like, I was like razors and blackberries were razors. booming yeah that or sidekicks sidekicks were big is that the flip rig oh, yeah where it was so like annoying. it would go side and it went whoom. yeah like flipped up all weird yeah, yeah my parents had, a had the full ass keyboard yeah. like every letter had a button yeah so you grew up with internet already being pretty readily much available. pretty wow. much dude. Oh. Yeah. dude you know what when I'm gonna speak for me. Like we had one, we had one home computer. Like we had one computer in the house. Mm-hmm. But like we didn't have we didn't you know I, like I didn't grow up in a house. So well, that's how old I was. Yeah, yeah. You're, you had a it just wheel wheelhouse. You know, just it was house, in my wheelhouse. Just house with like having wheels. a house in the future was oh, in my man. wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When no, I, I mean, it was like movable. Mm. Some would call it mobile. Yeah, almost mobile. Yeah, yeah. mobile. Yeah, I wouldn't even call it home. Mobile trailer. Yeah. We're in what you would call a park. Mm. Not like a national a park. Roll. Not a national park. Yeah. No, there's no elk. In there's Buffalo no like around. governing body. It was yeah. more like you're well, on was, your own land. Somebody was in charge, though. You know. I mean, Greg was in charge. Exactly. Greg owned the old land. Mm. You'd see Greg about once a month, and you would pay Greg a like yeah. two hundred dollars yeah. for the entire plot of land and the trailer. <laughs> Greg's the best. Yeah. Greg's Shout out, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's on it down. Nah, dude. Uh... It was a different time back then, though. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I was... remember my dad not having a phone and then mm-hmm. having a phone. Yeah. What, the, like, Nokia, like, bricks yep, with exactly, the snake? Exactly. Exactly. Dude. Yeah. And I remember I remember the first time whenever I got a phone, because it was a flip phone. You, would, It was a two-tone blue and silver. I think everybody had this one, and it had a camera on it, but it didn't really work that well. Very fuzzy. Yeah, and but you could text, but it was like you're getting like three dollars a text. Yeah, I text my dad, and he's like, "What are you doing? Why are you Don't texting?" And then I text you. him back, and he I was like, you. "What's up?" And he's like, "Stop doing that." <laughs> he calls you, "Stop texting me." Yeah, <laughs> you're like, "Phone one up." Yeah, dude, that was when people were still using like AOL Instant Messenger, and I finally got a phone and. Like you were saying, it was like ten cents a minute. I didn't know about data plans. I don't think they had them then. Dude, so yeah. I was just yeah. Yeah, and there Why was... is my prepaid phone out like two or three hours and keep re-upping Oof. that? Dude, what? People would what buy would like do? fucking, uh, what? I don't even know what they call it. Like cards with minutes on it? What do they call it? Faux prepaid cards? cards. Yeah. Prepaid. Yeah, prepaid cards. And then you would have plans where it's like nights and weekends. After what? nine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You would get like a discounted rate. So after nine, you would get discounts on text and shit? Well, you get I... free phone calls, I yeah. think. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. But only from like nine to six in the morning, I think. Yeah. And then depending on the plan, you could get free weekends, which was, that's why it's like, yo, like you meet a girl in high school. I mean, for you, it'd be like elementary at this time. Pre-K. I'd be like, I'd be like two years old. Yeah. You're like, mom. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But we talking yet. But when you're talking to somebody, you can only talk to them on the weekend. Be like, hey, I can't talk to you tonight. But you know, like, you know, because I got to go bed early. You know what I'm saying? I live at the trailer so, <laughs> so but when the this weekend hits <laughs> i'm gonna call, call you. you yeah so be near that phone please yeah no if you could didn't. thank you i am like you didn't I even remember, know landlines no we had like, we had a land we had landlines for sure i remember using those like a lot as a kid i remember my grandma had a, a car they phone. were fucking with you is what my, they were doing my, huh they, they, that sounds like making they, them yeah making you use landlines at your age they were fucking with you i mean they were I don't know. Yeah, they were trying Before to make you feel seven. like you grew up in the streets. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> you know? I do remember my grandma having a car phone in her Jeep, though. That was, like, badass. I remember being <laughs> yeah. a kid being like, wait, what? Like, dude, freaking your grandma out. Is bawling. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Grandma had a Jaguar. Also, Ooh. Jeep with a phone, apparently. Jeep with a phone. Had a Jeep with a phone. And now she's got a BMW that she just... Here's the thing about my grandma, okay? I love my grandma to death. But she's, you know, an older lady. Mm-hmm. And she, her car is very new, right? And it has all these things that tell her like, hey, don't back up any further. You're going to run into something. Okay. It'll beep at you and it'll stop you. Now, what does my grandma do? She turns all of those off because they annoy her. Now, <laughs> how many dings and dents does she have in her new car? All of them. What is her new car? She got a BMW X5. Okay, see, so okay. Jeep with a phone. Jaguar. A BMW with letters. <laughs> she like, and numbers. <laughs> and numbers. I love that for her. Yeah, I mean, she I, she helped me yeah. decorate this house. She's very good at. I mean, not maybe not the graffiti, yeah, not this room. <laughs> she sure. graffitied the yeah, wall. Yeah, not this room, but <laughs> no, but she does. She She's like, I like house. what he's doing. 
with the spray cans <laughs> yeah. and the colors. Thanks, yeah. Grandma. No, she did. Mm. She helped me with like the paint and the floor and the cabinets and all that kind of stuff. Oh, she was that's yeah. Awesome. She's she's a great lady. Yeah. Dude, she's those cars awesome. though. Like I got one in May. I went from a 2006 Corolla to a 2020, and it has those cameras. Oh yeah. I can't see shit. Like I'm already oh, short, yeah. so I'm acting like I'm looking behind myself. You but <laughs> and I've got the camera there, but. I don't see yeah. shit. Have you ever been in a car with somebody that has the camera but doesn't look back? I know we have the camera, mm. so we don't have to look back. Yeah. Me. It gives you but that. But who trusts that camera? Who's doing this vibe. backing it up? It gives me that, like. I still ugh. do this. Yeah. Well, you don't. Yeah. I do it, but I can't see, so I'm like. Yeah. For you, I can understand. But, like, if somebody who, like, you know, you can, like, definitely see out of the back window and they're just like, no, I trust it. I don't trust you if you yeah. trust the camera. Also, you know? the camera can only see, like, what is directionally right behind it. What yeah. if somebody's coming from an angle, like, mm. pretty fast? Yeah. I've been hit by a cab in the mall parking lot as I was pulling out of my position. Hmm. You know? What happened with that? Yeah, I lost my car. Oh, shit. <laughs> the cab told me he would sue me, and I was like, <laughs> I don't have that great insurance, bro. You can just have it, dude. Whatever really you got to claim, you got to claim. Wow. So I took a hit on my car insurance when I was like 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was parked, I won't say the wrong way, but a different way than everyone else. Okay. So, so, so I mean, so they were was coming. the parking job good, though? Like, oh, I a... parked perfect. Okay. That's all he just is. didn't like it. He sounded like an asshole, though. Yeah, he saw me and was like, mm-mm. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> nah. Nah, dude. Nah. Not today. He saw you in the mall and he's like, you know what? I'm going to find him. Well, yeah. Find no, him. Dude, you, his he mood, waited. His mood changed you. almost immediately. He hit me. We both got out of the car. He's like, you good? And I was like, I'm good. Are you good? He's like, I'm good. And then he's like, my car is not good, dude. And I was like, my car is not going to move again, dude. Because I had a lowered Acura Integra. Like, mm -hmm. it was almost touching. Yeah. He had a regular, like, fucking. And then it was touching. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah. It literally broke the axle, like, oh really? The fucking front wheel. How I mean, it's front wheel drive. How fast were both of you going? I wasn't going any. I was <laughs> literally turning to pull out to go the direction of the traffic, and he just went wham. He was probably going like ten miles an hour, but my car is like nineteen eighty nine at the time. Okay, still is to this day. Still nice. So still like nine years before you were even yeah, born, no, dude. Yeah. No, it's cool. Well, it's fine. Yeah, now imagine if that you That car got I hit. drive now is almost as old as I am. Really? The Marquis is 03, which is like five, I mean like the five years. He owns two of the yeah. three cars in the parking lot right now. Yeah, and the other one is literally only a year newer. Is the third that's, one That's mine? an 04. No, that, oh, no, no, no. There's a, there's a Subaru. Up there. The the blue yeah. car that's underneath the carport? That's mine. That doesn't move? Yeah. The paperweight? It's been sitting there for a while. Your boy's car. But yeah, that's a 2004. Gotcha. So it's like yeah, not even that. Yeah, but it's also like, does it even matter what year it is? It doesn't move. Well... I mean, it right? is a dumb, it was, you know, it's fine. I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> He's got plans for it. It's just. Yeah. 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 Well, then plans are being executed perfectly. Yeah. If that plan is for it to not do shit. Mm. You know what, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 2022 goals. Is yeah. yeah. Get, the, get, get the Subaru. Do a podcast from that Subaru. Do that for King next year. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, but I mean, isn't your car loud? It's like, it, brum, brum. No. it it's got a rumble. It's not like a, <laughs> okay, a it's, rumble. It's, it's 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 deep. You know, it's like fuck. It's it's deeper. Is yeah. it does it rumble like my car rumble? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's like a rattle no, can rumble. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's not a good a no. good rumble. Also, if you guys can't tell from the attire, this the is the Christmas fits. episode. It is swang and fits. Look at my ball. It's just a. Or no, my ball. Just, uh, yep. Make sure. It's I don't ball. know if it's just making singular. camera. Just one of them. I'm like Lance Armstrong. That was his last name. Armstrong. Yeah. Mm. The, yeah. The steroid guy. There we go. Yep. That's got to be picking up on camera now. I think it might be. Yeah. Where was yours? yours? Where's I? You know. He's a trucker at heart. Oh, okay. <laughs> I stay <Okay>. trucking. <laughs> <laughs> Truck fit, trucking. dude. And I didn't want. To truck fit oh that i didn't even God. know i i didn't even remember i had this i, I found this at a, a thrift store like 10 years ago oh and wow I, it oh, doesn't sick. even snap back so i had to tape it like 10 years ago still there and yeah. your head's the same size yeah that's amazing like <laughs> oh, that's great <laughs> that's amazing. which means he hasn't learned nothing in 10 years 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Air's just escaping, dude, yeah. at this point. Yeah. No, Where's he's all getting the rid of going? like all the like things he doesn't need to know for the important stuff. I mean, we well, don't. Yeah, like well, why is your super here's, not moving? Here's yeah. the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. I, if this is where he's at now, I don't want to see where he was 10 years ago. Okay. That's no, all yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> well, we're starting well, in the same position now. So. But here we are. And I'm 10 years younger. Okay. What's up? Hey, man. What? We're friends and you don't do things like that to friends. What? You make me feel good, not bad. Hey, keep talking shit about Subaru. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so this is this is a fucking great year. It was. Yeah. It was for me. Yeah. It was a good year for me. What good um, happened in your year? Oh, my God. I got my shit together. Word. I got my shit together. I just staying away from people for a while and just kind of. You know, getting into my own head and yeah. trying to figure out what are we, what are the end goals, what are the five year goals, what are the ten year goals, and stop hanging out with people that aren't helping me grow. Yeah, mm-hmm. and even if my circle is super small, like everybody that I'm associated with is doing something for themselves, and yeah. I'm not embarrassed to call them friends and vice versa. So, yeah. and it's taken a long time to get there, but I'm glad we're there now. I'm working and. Trying to be all that I can be. Yeah. Aren't you on like an extremely long sober streak? Um, six hundred seventy-five days, I think. That's wild. Two years will be February seventeenth. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah that that's, was that's great. That took a very long time. Oh, yeah. That's I'll drink from time to time, but I don't smoke anymore. Yeah. I was smoking hella blunts. I was yeah. I was yeah. doing that, but I don't. Mm. Don't do anything anymore. That's awesome. Dude. Was there something that clicked where you were like, okay, that. Yeah. Click. Like and then you're like, is. I got to change from here on. Or um, was it like you just woke up and you're like, eh, I don't want to feel like that no more. Oh, dude. I I got into really big trouble a couple years ago. Um, I was, you know, involved with stuff I shouldn't have been involved with and got into it with somebody out and about somewhere when I was not level-headed and ended up going to jail and in that period of time I got evicted from the house that I was living with with somebody and all of our stuff got uh seized the house got uh, taken um holy shit. my bond was like 300 bucks for like three different charges but uh nobody bailed me out and I sat there for eight weeks in jail fuck, dude. yeah wow in like, not in, like, a pod where, you know, and I've never been in jail before, so I didn't know what to expect, but um, if you're not in the right mental state, they'll put you in the infirmary um, until you are able to be around people, and I was mm-hmm. there for seven of the eight weeks by myself. Um, wow. Damn. So that'll that'll do stuff to you. Yeah, that's gnarly. They'll put you on um, the medication you should be on for that period of time and get you where you need to be. So once... Um, I had like a video appearance in front of a judge and they put me back for like four more weeks. So right around the eight week mark, everybody was getting kind of overcrowded. This was before COVID. Mm -hmm. Um, they released me and I called my mom. I had only talked to her like twice since I was in jail and she's like, you can come stay here, but you don't have your house anymore. The person I was living with, um, they were kind of dealing with something similar to, and they were up north. So I got out of jail, didn't have anything besides the clothes that were on my back that I was arrested with, went to my mom's house and started from there up trying to get my shit together. Um, was able to keep my healthcare license. So I was able to get back into that, um, that field a couple months later. But as soon as I started making money, I was back, you know, doing yeah. Coke and stuff. So that that didn't end until um february of 20 what year 2020 20, right before covid hit um i was just over it yeah. just yeah. it just got old um covid was probably the best thing that happened for me like you know everybody's in quarantine and we can't go anywhere and i'm like well how am i going to find this and how am i going to do that and what am i g- just going through the motions of like, I'm doing these drugs and it's not, I'm not feeling anything. Like I'm not even, it's like not worth it at that point. No, it's just money like out the window. Like even if you're, you know, 
selling the stuff, but you're still spending two, three hundred bucks a day just to not feel anything. And then you do feel everything. And it's, I just had to get level headed and I just quit cold turkey one day and deleted all those people out of my phone. Um, How did qu- quitting cold turkey affect you like physically? Um, like, did you go through like a, hard, a hardship? Yeah, dealing I with that? I was doing so much and never really had to go through withdrawals because I always had a steady steady stream of... Yeah. Yeah, so that was... I never had to go through any, like, cold turkey stuff, but I did end up um, really, really sick, just, like, with a fever, not feeling good, uh, went to the hospital, and they're like, you, your body is not metabolizing or absorbing this. You have, like toxicity built up um they had to you know give me different medications to you know filter out my liver and stuff and then after that i was like this is stupid this is just this isn't what i want to do and then like three weeks later they did like the covid quarantine in pensacola and i haven't haven't touched it then haven't been around it i don't i don't know anybody that's still doing that and then everybody started getting fentanyl based stuff and that's when you know it's it getting scary, really scary yeah. it gets scary bro yeah, P- gets people scary. we've known that are close to us have died over that oh yeah, yeah. same uh, yeah. yeah even just people that are going um not even just doing coke but they're taking either xanax or ecstasy or yeah. something yeah, they're like getting everything. laced yeah. yeah and it's like I mean, they're always saying, like, you should test your stuff and whatnot, but... Nobody does that, Nobody's... Though. Nobody Nobody's does that, though. That. Yeah, I, 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 we're not talking about the highest caliber of, like, well, thought yeah, and then process also when you're also, dealing oh, yeah, yeah. with this like, stuff. Like, yeah, you're, like, they're you're not like, one blow or something. Hold, uh, one second, sir. Let me yeah. test this before Excuse you... Excuse me. Yeah. And then what are you going to do if Do you mind if, if I somebody... test this? Yeah, and then what happens then? When, yeah, you're in is. somebody's house or whatever, and you're like, yeah, can I... And then you test it, and it's... Yeah, exactly. It's like... And then, yeah, you got somebody that's wanting to do blow and shit like that. They're not going to sit yeah. there and, you know. They're like, I need a positive test or a negative test before we can move on with this. Yeah. Also, sir, where's your mask? Yeah. <laughs> I know we're doing coke, but come on. Come man. on. Come on, dude. I mean, B, where's your hand sani? Yeah, dude. Where, you got hand sani? <laughs> yeah. Get one of those, like, hot plates to, like, filter out, like, yeah. all the germs from it. Can I just see real quick? Thank you so much. Yeah. Everybody get their own straw. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. scary. Um... Even just, I went downtown uh, last weekend. Um, I don't drink beer. I drink liquor if I am going to drink. And it's like two drinks. And then I'm like, eh, that's enough. Uh, um, but yeah, if you go out and about, it seems like everybody is on something. And it's, I don't know. They'll go from like the super high highs to like the low. I'm like, is this fentanyl? Am I going to see something happen? It's just, yeah. I don't know. It's. It's kind of a liability to go anywhere just in case yeah. anybody, any shit pops off. Yeah, I think I've told this story before, but I was hanging out downtown with a buddy of mine like years ago. And we're, I think, at the corner of World of Beer. And we're sitting waiting on some of his buddies, like people I don't know at all. And he just does coke right there. Right there. Oh, well, like, we're sitting, on Foxes. Yeah, just all on. And I'm like, yeah. I, well, I didn't even know he did that. I know he did... Uh, what is that thing that got popular? It's supposed to help you come off drugs, but like people kratom. Can, kratom. Oh. Mm-hmm. So he he he. I knew he did that, and he drank. But he drank like he's a super intelligent guy. Mm-hmm. So it's like you can't even tell when he could be tipsy or drunk or whatever. Sure. He just seems himself. Mm-hmm. Um, he's just either open to you or not. Yeah. So like he was always open to me, so I could never tell the difference. Right. And then he does the coke, and it's like literally nothing changes he just is still himself so i was like now i don't know are you always on coke or oh, yeah. were you always on coke or like Dude, is it just how, how you are yeah i'm sorry i didn't mean to cut you off oh no but, you're good um i was doing like you know you see people they're, they're just doing like a little bump here and there just to get through i was doing three four grams like every couple hours and it wasn't like wow i don't know shit on, about drugs stuff. to be honest it it's a lot. Yeah. Like it's people are just supposed yeah. to do like that much. And that's like way less than point, like a way less than a half gram. So doing like three or four of that every couple hours, like, and people that are around me, they didn't like, they knew that I was doing it cause I was, you know, bringing it out all the time, but I didn't act any more hyper or lower. It was just a steady, yeah. 
the last time I had done it was with somebody that's really close to me and we did pretty much the last of what I had before I had like the toxicity thing mm. and then like it was I don't know it was insane but we were both sitting there just watching tv just chilled no conversation going I'm like this is not this isn't it anymore like this mm, is just yeah. stupid yeah so it's hard to cut off the people that are doing that kind of shit but yeah. But at the end of the day, like you said, it's like you're putting better people in your life and that yeah. are like growing and mm -hmm. wanting you to grow, you know? So like, yeah, I, f I feel that though, for sure. Was it's, it, was it like the first time you did it, you were like, I want to do this again? Or was it like, oh, I just did this cause it was convenient. And then you notice like, oh, I'm doing it again. I had done it like in my early twenties and didn't, didn't touch it at all after that for a couple years and then um so it was just because it was there it wasn't like you were out seeking like oh i no, need to do this i i was around it with somebody that i was dating at the time um you know he was doing it from time to time with one of his friends and he didn't like influence me to do it just knock that shit yeah, off no, there. Just, it moved <laughs> my <laughs> mic and i was like hey man <laughs> i don't need this shit <laughs> um he would have it a couple times and i I was like, I don't want to get involved in that. Like, that's trashy. Um, I have family members that, uh, you know, that was their drug of choice, and I didn't want to get involved in it. And then yeah. you do it, and then you're like, this is the best thing ever. And then you keep doing it, and you keep doing it. And then as long as you don't go through the come down, you're having the best time of your life. Mm. But that shit goes away so quick when it's uh -huh. when you start running out and it's like i gotta find more this is i gotta keep this feeling going i just want to hang out yeah and then when you start buying it and hanging out at your house like that's that's really lame like, that's, <laughs> like it's like all right let me just do a line before i watch this tv show dude, it yeah. was straight up it would be like how i'd be smoking a blunt and then be like well i want i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna have people over and we're gonna sit around and we're gonna do this and just watch tv yeah it's like and I think back what? and I'm like, that was dumb. Yeah. That was so dumb. Yeah. Who does it? Well, not me now, so. Yeah, like my my mom does it a little bit from time to time or more, I don't know. But like it only ever I think enhanced how she already was. Like she right. was already like a quiet busy bee. Yeah. So she'll be like quiet in the house. You don't even know she's in the house, but she'll just be organizing she'll be doing somewhere. Shit. She's I'm doing, doing all the dishes. But, but she would just doing be doing something. that literally yeah. Yeah. 24-7. Yeah. yeah, that's how it gets. So I'm like, okay, right. you're going to bed anytime? Yeah. Or she's like, well, now I got to go to work. And I'm like, but aren't you working now, <laughs> though? No, what, what you, you been, doing, mom? Yeah, what yeah. you been doing? <laughs> what you, know? you doing, though? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it gets to that point where it's like, am I going to sleep? Like, yeah. am I going to sleep? And then the dangerous part is when you can you're go like, to sleep. And then you. <laughs> nope. Yeah. <laughs> then you do like you're having to go hide it at work and you're having to hide it like in your car. Mm -hmm. Like you're having. Dude, I would. Anyways, just <laughs> hearing about your friend on like Paula Fox doing that. I'm like, oh, that's how. That's how yeah. people are like, you have to bring uh, it somewhere. It's like another cell phone of like, yeah, I got to check my sure. notifications. I got to yep. shove this up my nose. Oh, yeah. word. Yeah. Uh... Dude, it yeah, is. It's wild, that man. is wild how like social media is the new thing mm -hmm. yeah. i will not i guess not new because it's been around for a while but it's like how like uh the war on drugs was there is like no war on social media exactly mm -hmm. but it's like it's that the same thing yeah yeah i wonder if there's ever going to be a president that's like anti-social media like if we'll get to be like other like like ronald reagan and his wife like uh nancy they were like the war on drugs. Say no to drugs. Like they had a big campaign that was part of their like campaign. Well, well we don't do <laughs> politics, but <laughs> it was part that of was their, part of their you, you know, know the word I said already. Yeah, I can't thing. do it again. So Whatever. somebody else, <laughs> hey, chime in, will you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when are y'all finish this? But it was uh, like that. But it's like I wonder if we're gonna have like whoever's I, after Biden. I think at some point there's gonna be that like there's. I think there will be like a war on Facebook. Because oh, Facebook is, so is or Meta yeah. or whatever the fuck it's called now. Yeah, meta. But it's getting so progressively it's crossing like, like boundaries. And it's like, all right, mm -hmm. how far is enough? Like, where are you going to stop? Yeah, but it's strange. Like, I have um, two separate Facebooks. And the things that I see dudes, 
I say dudes, but like just people in general, like chicks and dudes. If you have such a fake positive energy about you, you can get away with posting anything. But if you just say how it is, for example, there's several females that are in this area that they have this, I call it toxic positivity, where it's so, you go girl, and let's just, yeah. we're going to do this and yeah. this, and we, you know, all bodies are beautiful, this type of thing, and we support women doing whatever they want to do, and then you have girls that are doing whatever they want to do, and they, you know, they burn them at the stake, because... Everybody wants to be a witch right now. Yeah. Know, what is going on? See, the, the, there is no, no constant anything. Yeah, there is no, no like all guys are right. Media. There's no <laughs> all girls are right. There's no this like uh, what is it like it is left right and the wild wild west, bro. Yeah. Well, just Seriously. like lawless. I mean, it's well, law, there's no constant they're lawless pirates. All right, there's That's no what they are. constant in anything. <laughs> yeah. So it's very flip floppy. Like I will follow people on different social medias, and I'm like, you just said on yeah. Instagram, but on Twitter, you're saying. Yeah. What are we doing? Well, and then yeah, and then Facebook. Then I'm like, it's why like, am I spending time? Facebook, it's like, yeah, and then you get mad at yourself for I'm being like, like why am I doing this? And like yeah. comparing, yeah, it's like Instagram. It's yeah, it's so weird, man. There's just so much. I, I'm glad you brought that up because this is something I've always thought of, but it's like it never comes up on the podcast for some reason. Is like you can't be all positive. No, mm. but you also get crucified for being like. Say I'm like, yo, I'm stoked about the podcast coming out tonight. And then like something happens and I get bummed. And then I post about me being bummed. Yeah. They're going to they criticize you for being like back and forth. It's like, yeah, but now you're bitching. You were just so happy. Like, wh which is it? You can't be one or the other. No. You can't be both. Yeah. So what the fuck yeah. can you be? What Especially you need to you do. Especially you being a male. Like, you're not allowed to. Yeah. Can't cry. No, Don't ever can't. talk about that again. No. Can't yeah, cry. We can't. Yeah. We can't yeah. be sad at all. No. no you, we're not allowed to. Legally. You, you yeah. can do a lot of things, but you can't cry. No. Nope, right. Can't do that. No. Cannot. Also, like, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're either, you know, what is it? Um, anytime a guy is showing, like, emotions, like, and a girl's like, well, you're... In you're, touch with your feminine you're, you're yeah, that, like thing, or yeah. you dropped your crown king, and then like everybody's yeah. trying to like. Oh wow, I hate yeah. that. Dude, talk. it is so yeah. <laughs> I hate oh. seeing the people at the <laughs> fucking fair where they're like, king. his, his hers, his king. and their crowns. <gasps> and I'm like, <gasps> hey man, go back to Walmart, okay? Dude, get the out fair of here, bro. I feel like that. Where's your fago, dude? Oh, huh? whoop whoop. Hey, yeah, oh. <laughs> I, I can see your ICP tattoo, dude. Mm. No, yeah, but... Dude, it's bad. And, like, especially right now on Facebook, everybody's... I'm like, are you not getting anything for Christmas? Because everybody's like, my boyfriend put gas in my car today, and he made sure that my lunch was packed, and he kissed me on the forehead. Like, who is that for? Like, is he making... Yeah, is he over your shoulder making, being like, yeah. ditch there? Tell them. Post about me. Post that is such a good it. point <laughs> of view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, tell the world. Dude. Because I think I'm like, well, maybe she's... Maybe this is a cry for her help for her. And then I'm like, well, now everybody sees how nice he is. They're going to steal her man. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if she's posting about that, what are you doing? Just broadcasting how good of a dude yeah. your dude is? Dude, if I didn't, if dude, I if we didn't have a podcast, I don't know how, how often I would use social media. Mm -mm. Yeah. Because at one it point when it was, it, when it was like brand new ish, it, like yeah. at the beginning of the 2010s, mm -hmm. it was like. You were in elementary school, so this is before yeah. you. So, like, okay, well, I don't even know if you remember, but there was a thing called MySpace. But before oh, there, it was, it. like, Friendster. Yeah, no, I got mm -hmm. it. I know about it. But, that. like, when my when Facebook came out. That was it. That was the yeah, fucking oh, yeah. joint, oh, yeah. dude. The giant. The giant. Yeah. So, that came out. And then, all of a sudden, Instagram was like, yo, I'm even yeah. more popping, bro. Right? Twitter came through. Knock, knock, knock. Open up. Yeah. You know? Twitter's taking over. But, like, dude, shit was popping. You were always on your phone. And then, like, fucking snap and all these other like like twitter and yeah there's too many it's like it's like you can't bands and a lot of them are oh similar yeah. like i can't even name all the bands that are similar to one an mm -hmm. another but like silverstein and like seosin and alkaline trio and like my chemical romance but it's like there's so many you're not going to hear them all and somebody's gonna be like oh my god you ain't heard them how did you death know cat for cutie you didn't heard of them favorite. yeah oh my god well hang on i got it on my phone that you can listen to it yeah yeah and it's like dude i can only listen to so much yeah it's all the same that's like you've like really <laughs> attached yourself to nicholas cage like we get it yeah, you don't yeah. have to bring it up no i love him. no we understand no do you like Nicolas no we got cage? it okay, did you watch pig with him oh my god yes 
Now. Okay. Now. Okay. Dude, have you seen the new Nick Cage seen, movie coming out Ma- next year? Now, have you seen Mandy? Have you seen Mandy? I've seen Mandy. I recently watched. I have a. I'll um, leave the room. Willy's Theater. Wonderland shirt. Did you? Okay. <laughs> Did you see our Willy's Wonderland themed thumbnail? No, but no, I did have one. It's on the podcast. That's yeah. fine. Dude, Pig that banger. Have you seen? I haven't watched Color Out of Space yet, but my homie said it was really, really good. He gave me a DVD. No, did you watch Mom and Dad? Mm-mm. Okay, Nicholas Cage, <laughs> Salma Hayek. Okay. Not Salma Hayek. Selma Blair. Is it Selma Blair? The girl from Cruel Intentions. Selma Blair. Okay. She's the mom. He's the dad. They have two kids, and there's a like a virus going through the whole city where the parents are turning on their children and attacking them like they have like, this yeah. urge to kill them instead of nurture okay. them they start <laughs> okay uh, it's on hulu you know. this sounds okay. like every trailer uh, park i grew up in now now right. the new movie okay. is called uh i think it's called it's something about nicholas cage is exciting or something no it's like uh being born with unbelievable talent or something like that like that's the name of the movie okay but it but he is himself it's in nicholas the movie cage as nicholas cage is it like a it's like everybody's the room with tommy wiseau no is it like the, oh my but everybody's but like, "Oh my god, it's Nicolas Cage!" And he's like, "Yeah." Uh, and he's like, "He like gets oh. he." Gets, but he's, it's funny. It's, it's like making like fun funny. of himself. Like but what it's I'm like kind of shitting on him. But what but I'm hoping like, is that like they and it's coming out in movie back. theaters, which is new for Nicolas Cage. Yeah, hey, like, what? dude, new avenue for him. All right. Um, Normally, it's now movie, you watch Mandy. Great. You Hulu. watch Mandy and tell <laughs> me that wasn't supposed to be in a movie theater because okay. that thing hit so hard. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'll already tell you that. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Seriously. Okay. Um, but I'm hoping That's that why they you nod wear back large. to like some of those like odd scenes from those like sure. indie films and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. and throw it into that movie. That'll but be fun. oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, that one looks super funny. Okay. Yeah, big Nicholas Cage guy. We right will. Here. He's a hater. He's a hater. But whatever. I loved Raising Arizona. That's good. And that's where it ends. Connor's good. <laughs> Connor's real good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the extent uh, of his. You know, that's it. What was uh, the Disney movie he did? National Treasure. Yeah, didn't need to see it. He didn't like. Didn't need to make it. Two of them. Three. Two of them. Why? Too many. Two. I why? get that confused with um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The Tom Hanks thing? Yes! Yes! Yes, okay. Too many of the same yeah. movie, bro. I was like, isn't this Hanks the thing? same thing? What is that? Like the like National Tom... Treasure Part 2, right? What is Tom Hanks They replaced thing? him. Castaway? Tom Hanks. What are you talking about? No, the no. Tom Hanks movie with the Where Mona he's Lisa. doing this in the movie, and he's looking for things in the what? buildings in Mona Lisa, and it's like things are behind artwork. I don't even know. Da Vinci Code. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the same movie. It's, it's, it's National Treasure. Treasure. You could have just called it the Nicolas Cage Code. Well, you could. I mean, they could have. I don't know if it would have sold the same way. Yeah, but well, yeah. neither one sold great. Hey, <laughs> so, man. Okay, so that's why <laughs> that's they kept doing movies, okay? Till death, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nicholas Cage, dude. He's a great guy. No, but this new one next year looks legit good. I still think you should watch Pig, man. But that's uh, a good movie. Also, too. I will tell you Listen. this. I'm a big stickler on the way things are filmed. Sure. Like, if it's filmed well, like, I watch a documentary on fucking paint. Mm-hmm. If like, did you see the Bob Ross documentary on Netflix? If it's done well, I'll fucking watch the whole thing and be glued. But if it's like, it could be about fucking MMA, and if if it's sh- film shitty, I can't watch a second of it. Sure, yeah. I just can't. It's not intriguing. It's not. It's not pulling me in. Yeah, it's not pull in. enticing. Yeah. I don't know. No, I so are you saying Nicolas Cage does not pull you in with? Correct. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's that's the end of that sentence. No. Okay. Doesn't no, pull you in more. with. Period. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> yeah, that is all. Yeah. I don't see how you don't, but big Home Alone fan. Huge. Huge. So where do you stop? I just got the four thousand piece Lego set in the Home Alone one based on the house. It's got. What? But uh, but do you stop at the originals? Oh, do I stop? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant like with the collection. Like, <laughs> oh, she's like, no, I'm still building. She's like, I will go as far as I need to go. <laughs> I'm I will trying to the buy the one. house, <laughs> dude. Did you know you could rent it out for like one night? What? Wait, yeah, really? It's already passed. Um, they did like a raff, kind of like a raffle thing through Airbnb. If you that pay for your own, like, booby traps and everything. I was. Like, I assume you, only one person's allowed oh. in at a time. Uh, two. Then it's not home alone. I know. So that's. Sick. Um, there should I be stopped rules. <laughs> with the second one. Um, after the Home Alone New York, like trash. Yeah. What are What are yeah. we doing? Yeah, yeah, the Home Alone New York, or New York. Is that the one where the kid has the? They're trying to get the RC car thing. No. What the fuck? 
No, Home Alone New York is two, mm-hmm. right? And then the third one is when he starts to get a different kid and I don't weird. Think I right. saw the different third one. I think bad guys, different yeah. kids. That was like uh-huh. early two thousands. Because I remember that because that was like one of the only movies we owned. And I was like, what the fuck? You got the wrong one. Yeah, this is not it. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. Take it back to Blockbuster because yeah. we don't This want kid this. is brunette, okay? I remember Blockbuster. I was <laughs> here for that. <laughs> Good. I was, around. Good. I was around for that. Yeah. It was a time. Friday yeah. nights there were Yeah, there, the movie. there's apparently, I think they're like the fifth or sixth movie now. Why? I don't know. I, I think they're doing a Disney one. Are you really that deep into Look it? Look it up, dude. I swear to God, they're doing a Disney Home Alone. Because I saw it the other day and I was like, what the hell is this? Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen any other ones other than the first and second one. You don't need to. Yeah. There's no point. Yeah. Um, the OGs. Yeah, that is... That was actually my first crush was uh, Marv from Home Alone. Oh, really? Yeah, that was... Dude, actually, the, the newest one just came out this year. It's called Home Sweet Home Alone. That's... And the kid has, like, guns. Is Tommy Lee a bad guy? Um, No, but it is a Disney movie. Mm. A married couple tries to steal back a valuable heirloom Heirloom. from a troublesome kid. I almost thought that said threesome kid. Whoa. (laughs) I was like, what is the kid doing? (laughs) You said it's a Disney movie. Dude, but it's got fucking uh, Ellie Camper, the girl from The Office. The redhead. Oh, she's funny. From um, Kimmy Schmidt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The main girl. She's so funny. And the bad kid, or the... Well, I mean, he's got a large eyes. Same. No. <laughs> no, he shouldn't have been the thing, you know? Mm. You want to see a bigger face? What? He looks like he would be in Is that uh, Andy Christmas Carol. Yeah, right? Is that not... Oh, yeah. man. Man. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, Ooh. what's going on Guys. here? <laughs> I hate that. So Zoom much. in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Man. Dude, That's... yeah. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Is it Home Alone? Home Alone. Yeah. Word? Wasn't. I thought Home Alone was Thanksgiving. I don't think so. No, because they go out of town to Paris for um, Christmas. They That's fly. That's right. That's yeah. right. Why is Are there no right Thanksgiving here? movies? Why is there no. There th- are. Thanksgiving. Have you. Wow. Mm. Nope. I just told you. Hmm? Why are there? And then didn't know that one. <laughs> Thanks, Killing. Okay. Thanks, Killing. What is that about? Is it a Nicolas Cage in, movie? No, it not yet. It sounds like a title, though. <laughs> not yet. But they're, um, it's a homicidal turkey that has survived um, the first oh Thanksgiving. Oh, wow. Um, I'm tuned out. Have you seen Rubber? Yes, with the tire. Wow. I applaud you for knowing that. Do you know what Rubber is? Mm. That's an amazing movie for not having a lot of dialogue. It is so deep. Like Explain I, to him what rubber is. So, there's a homicidal tire. <laughs> Assuming it has I'm thoughts. I'm seeing a trend right. here. Right. <laughs> um, it's been a minute since I've seen it, but uh, I thought that was Nicolas Cage for a second, but it's not. It's a mm. serial killing wheel. Wait, the tire. tire sorry, people? not wheel. Yeah. Like, with its mind, like, there's, um, was it a bunny or something on the side of the road that he that's just hopping around? He just starts kind of shaking and then... What? Explodes. I think so. It's been a minute since I watched it. I can't remember what it was on. I, I'm TV. sure. TV? Tubi. 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 Oh, Tubi, yeah. Okay. That's where we watch I'm sure the, you can like, find it somewhere because isn't films. Tubi bankrupt now? No, no there's I still watch a thing. it all the time. What is the one that just recently went bankrupt that was like going to be the Black next? Buster. No. Oh. It was like going to be a big Netflix thing and it was like. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? It was like a streaming service and you could only like you could only watch. I know what you're talking about, but I cannot remember the name of it. I'm drawing a blank because I have HBO. I've got Tubi, Paramount, Disney. It starts with an S. Tubi I is Tubi. Honestly, is one of the coolest. Oh, I know. Like streaming services, mm-hmm. just because of all the like odds and ends movies yeah, that they have in there. For. It's like, dude, they've got some bangers on there. They're real good. Seriously, yeah, that's what we watch in the in the kitchen. We have a TV set up in the kitchen where mm-hmm. I work, and one of my Quibi? hobbies is like Quibi. Yeah, that well, that, those were the shorts. Remember, they were like videos made just for your phone. Well, when I when the I typed in was made bankrupt phone, huh? streaming <laughs> service, <laughs> well, you would you know, no, it's like a it's just a phone thing though. So it's like the videos are all shot in a weird wide screen thing. So you can't do it on anything but your phone. I hate that. It's like so like weird. That. It doesn't make any sense. Well, that is the only thing that comes up when you type in bankrupt streaming service. I th- it was Quibi. yeah, because I thought Quibi had that move. 
The dude that played fucking It. Mm-hmm. The new It. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my God. I can't think of his name. And he's like, with his lip. And it's like. Mm. He's a great actor. Super good. But I do believe he was in a car. And he's like, they were like joking back and forth. And all of a sudden, now the person driving is being kidnapped. Oh, shit. Oh. Remember that preview? And he's yeah. like. <laughs> Yeah. Now we go where I want or something. And it was like, you can only watch it on that. And I was like, fuck, that looks good. But I'm not buying a streaming service to watch. I want to say it was that guy or it was a guy that looked like that guy. Hmm. I don't know. But fill us in when you find it. I'm going to I'm going to do some deep googs. Okay. he's he's big on the googs thing. I love a good googs, man. That's the only way to go. I don't even know how you would find that guard. Okay, so it isn't him. But yeah, it looks like that guy. Bill Skarsgård lookalike. <laughs> <laughs> but Movies with. This kid looked like look-alike. he would maybe be the little brother of Bill Skarsgård. Win. And there's also an older brother, too, which mm-hmm. is, like, built. <laughs> like, he's fucking ripped. What's up? Oh, I was just looking up this Bill Skarsgård guy, and the next picture that came up was Steve Buscemi. Oh, <laughs> so no. it was like that. And then oh, Steve yeah, Buscemi good. right next to it. Oh, wow. It's good. It looks no, like his, good. like, little son or something or younger brother i don't know i don't know anyways it's a lot so we're not going to download quibi yeah yeah for, i wouldn't i wouldn't go investing okay. yeah I wouldn't go unless investing. you're like fucking elon musk rich uh, maybe reinvest in, into it and build it back right yeah there's an idea maybe not get make it just up and phone. get <laughs> Subi and buy Quibi. No, yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah, 2022 goals. <laughs> Just rename it like Bibby or something. Yeah. Because I, mean, I got a lot of Ibbies. Mm. Yeah. Call it Tibbies. Because then people are going to think it's Titties. Mm. You know, you got that new streaming service, Titties? And then you mean Tibbies. So big ass Tibbies. Big ass. <laughs> there titties. you go. <laughs> big, big ass. ass. <laughs> it's just ad. Big Dude, ass. Did y'all ever big go to ass. the convenience stores and it's big ass sandwiches? Mm mm. There's a brand a called recently. Big As, like A Z Z. Oh, the burgers. Yeah, oh. Big As burgers. Mm-hmm. Okay. You never Big seen Big Tibbies. You never seen this? I think Tom Thumb has them. Yeah, they have. Cha- mm-hmm. cha- Ow, fuck! I just the <laughs> shit out of my life. They have chicken so sandwiches. Hungry. I'm like damn, so hungry. I'm like, like so mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Order some of them Big Ass. <laughs> Dude, okay. Right. So it's talking about chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Do you eat fast food at all? No, not really. <sighs> Mm. I haven't had. God. Are you in the chicken sandwich game at all? Yeah. Um. When okay, so that's oh. another thing. When mm. I went off of drugs and COVID was a thing, and I was yeah. in a new relationship. Um. You're like I gave up fast food. No, I. You went ate hard. Everything you went I gained, hard dude. I I was at like 120, and then got up to at my heaviest this time last year. I was at like 140, just from because I was like, this is COVID. We're gonna die. We all need to I eat. Wanna eat. We all need of to it. just enjoy our lives. And dude, we live right by um, Popeyes and stuff. So I was like, well, we gotta have Popeyes. That's our joint, dude. Dude, I haven't so, had it since COVID started. But did you have the hot chicken Sandy? sandwich? Uh, I do like their chicken sandwiches oh, compared right. to everyone else's. That's right. That, that's our. That's our. That's our family, Lord. Yeah. Shout out Popeyes. Straight, up. Straight up. We all also dude. like work out enough to where. Yeah. It's yeah, not it going to stay on. Yeah. I was doing personal yeah. training for a little bit with somebody like four times a week and got in. You know, I dropped I dropped all that weight, yeah. built muscle, and now I'm like, I'm just going to chill for the holidays. And now I'm like having to count all my calories. I'm like, that sucks. Mm. Like, I don't like yeah. all my macros and shit. Like, oh, I, yeah. I just want to have like- Dude, that is the thing that sucks. Like, I do jujitsu mm-hmm. and like he's starting to do it, but he's also 22 or three or whatever who yeah, fucking cares so it doesn't matter food doesn't affect him sure no, like it, it definitely affects, affects me for sure well you'll find out how me. effective it's going to be mm-hmm. soon enough but like i'm able to burn off what i'm eating mm-hmm. so i have a little more leniency but i can't imagine like if you didn't work out if you didn't yeah have a personal trainer or if you didn't do jujitsu or some sort of athletic endeavor like if you just worked yeah. and ate well That's what i, I was also doing. think i also think the the style of work you do has a lot to do with it because like i feel like i burn a lot of shit just working in the kitchen like oh, sweating sure. constantly yeah. running around all the time like i feel like 
Yeah, but know. yeah, you're, the temperature of the environment you're in plays yeah. a big part of it, yeah. too. And you're stressed. Yeah. You're, like, on a clock, like, gotta get this shit out. Yeah. So I think that has... Yeah, you know, that, that pushes it a little bit, yeah, for sure. For sure. But, yeah, you'll gain weight. <clears throat> like, I know I was just snacking um, at work, just, you know, you're on the computer, and you're like, this day sucks. I'm going to have a bunch of cheese, and just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go home, I'm going to have a drink, and then, well, I'm going to treat myself, so I'm going to have a pizza. And, yeah. Well, it's the weekend now, so I should indulge yeah. myself. I'm going to have some brownies. Dude, yeah. that, like, self, like, uh reward system mm -hmm. is a problem mm. oh yeah like i It'll used get to you. like i would cut weight to make a fight and then i do the fight and then after the fight no matter how it went i was like well now i deserve I reese's on the way home dude yeah. the reese's trees though can we talk about that oh bro i can't talk i can't deal with reese's no more they're too good they are yeah it is good. i've had to retire i haven't been back to that tree in a while dude right hot uh, man and i'm reese's proud of myself are... because if i have one you're gonna have top bro tier. i i can only imagine it's like i mean it's gotta be like a drug right do cheese and reese's together <sighs> like wait you put your cheese on your reese's oh no i'm just saying like oh, that okay. oh no i <laughs> thought <laughs> i was the like same thing because no, no, dude no, my no. mom would do like fucking mayonnaise and banana sandwiches that's disgusting all right well, yeah so like chalk or cheese and chocolate doesn't sound that crazy Banana and mayonnaise. Think about it, dude. I went to a bougie bakery when I was in Daytona recently, and they had um, like a wine tour. So you have all these like ritzy, like hoity-toity people oh, yeah. that they're there for you know the festival and stuff, and they are actually wrapping cheese over a piece of chocolate and just being like, "That's so delectable." I'm like, "This tastes like Ooh, shit." What? What are we doing? That seems so aggressive. It was not. We have, you know, like we try to do good. we do like the high-end type stuff or whatever where I work, but mm -hmm. like we're not trying to do anything like crazy. You know what I'm saying? No. Like I feel like cheese and chocolate, you're just you're pushing boundaries that shouldn't be pushed, That's you know? Another, just like, just call it good. Cuz nobody's going to actually be like this is shit. Everybody's like this is some Yeah. You got your wine glasses and you're just like, wow. And they just waft it. And they yeah, just... and they're like, now what you're going to taste in this wine after you eat this cheese and like be all, It's you really going to bring out the, yeah. shut the fuck The tannins up. in the wine. <laughs> really... And I don't know what you're getting at, but you also do this shit with whiskey. I do it with whiskey because I enjoy, you know, I do I that. I mean, I don't but know if you can tell a difference... chocolate collection over but... here, but it's all like whiskey. Okay, but here's the thing. I do it for myself, right? I do it because I like to do it. That is true. That I, is I'll, good. I will give you credit there. I'll give you like the little thing. Thanks, man. But like, yeah, he doesn't buy whiskey for other people. Yeah. It's not like he's doing it in front of people. Like, yeah, I'm not. I, like, I don't whiskey, do like bougie. You know, not even fucking say shit about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do it. Yeah, I do. It, I enjoy it for myself, and it's like I don't need I feel should. the need to like go out and be like, this is a fifty-seven dollar yeah. shot of whiskey. You know, like it's like fucking shut nobody up, cares. dude. It's like nobody gives a shit. Yeah. I have to drink. You know? I have to. I'm about to go into that. <laughs> I have to drink. Excuse I me. Literally uh, have to drink. No, but I've noticed um, since I don't drink beer that I. And the only things that I can drink now is pretty much like a Tom Collins, like gin and mm -hmm. simple syrup and lemon juice and club soda. Um, it's light calories. And I'll use like a Hendrix gin instead of like just Seagram's because you get such a shitty hangover. Like once you get past your age and hit like well, late 20s, you're going to do a hangover will last. Bro, th like, this well, is it's not like, I, but I understand what you're saying because I can tell the difference. Like if I'm drinking a good whiskey mm -hmm. and like drinking like a not good whiskey, I'm not going to say any names, but like drinking like a, a shitty whiskey compared to like a high end whiskey, like you'll feel like pretty okay the next day, depending mm -hmm. on how much you drink, obviously, right. but you drink shitty whiskey and it's like, My head's I cool. got hit by a truck, oh, dude, yeah. like straight up. I wonder if there's like, you know how drugs are like laced with fentanyl. I wonder if there's like a fentanyl version, but with like how alcohol like is made. Alcohol. Like a cheap thing sugar. that they lace. It's just sugar, Not dude. Yet. We'll come back and. Uh... Well, then maybe there's a shitty sugar. Like there's a mm. shittiest sugar that is giving you the hangover yeah. versus like a finer sugar oh. that isn't. Yeah. Well, kind of like, like a... the, what is it? Like aspartame or something? Yeah. 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 yeah what if. Yeah. Oh, we should. Now we're getting deep. Yeah. What? Let's do some investigating. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't get drink it like you, case, so man. I don't care past what I just said. But yeah. well, no, so. we'll look into. And it. you also don't drink shitty whiskey, so it's yeah, not a thing for you. Yeah, but yeah. chickens. Yeah, as long as hmm. you're doing it for you, which you said you're not, and neither of you are seem like the type to just. I gotta go downtown and just show off like what I'm. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I don't even like going downtown. Dude. And if I have to go downtown alone, guess where I'm not going. Downtown. downtown yeah <laughs> yeah because like 
if I need to go pick you up, that's fine. But if you're like, I need you to pick me up from gallery night. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, that sucks, dude. You know where we live? That's crazy. <laughs> Get a number from where right? you're at. No, I'm yeah. not going there. I've got him to come down with me. Like for my birthday, we went down. And you yeah. had a good time. Yeah, I had a good yeah. time, but I was with him the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm with him and then he's like, all right, I'm dipping. What are you doing? And I'm like, <laughs> you have I'm dipping, dipping as well. Yeah. I'll follow you. Yeah, where are you going? Yeah, and yeah. you're like, well, I'm going somewhere else. And I'm like, we're going somewhere else. <laughs> Us yeah. together. Yeah. I live downtown yeah. um, close to like, you know, the scenic area part. So mm -hmm. yeah, I have, I don't want to say like I have friends that invite me out to go do anything because I don't hang out with those kind of people anymore but my friends that you know they are working bartending they'll be like you want to come out you want to have a drink and i'm like dude i gotta think about a dui if i go out i have oh, to think about see. traffic i have to be around people and yeah. i have to be up past 8 30 like i can't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no i'll pass actually <laughs> yeah i'm yeah. good yeah that's the thing is like working down there because i'm there like way too much mm -hmm. and so it's like i when i don't have to be there I don't really enjoy being down there mm. because I'm there down there all the time, you know, but it's like one of those things that kind of sucks you in. It's like everybody after work, everybody, you know, goes to the bar next door or whatever, goes and has a drink or whatever. Mm. It's just like, dude, I'm like, that, I'm that's, it, I want to go home. Like, oh, I want to go to <laughs> sleep. That's why I feel like you've like drawn so close to jujitsu is because like now you have a hobby that you're like kind of yeah. filling your time with yeah. that is completely opposite. of Right. That. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I think about it too. It's like, if I want to do that, I don't want to feel shitty the next morning. Yeah, like, sure. I don't want to, you know, like, at that point, it's like, I'm not going to, you're mm. not going to go roll hungover. Like, mm. good luck, bro. I mean, you can do it, but it's just not going to be fun. Yeah, no, it would suck. So yeah. it's like, there's, and there's no point. It's like, what are you going to, you know, mm. why go out? Just go the fuck home, go to bed. <laughs> you know? I'm going to watch a Nicolas Cage. Sleepy. <laughs> I'm going to watch a Nicolas Cage movie. Do you have any hobbies other than, like, Home Alone and Nicolas Cage? <laughs> um... I don't know. I spend way too much time thinking about like the next move of, you know, I'm planning next year to get like a house, like not Word. renting anymore and trying to make that like next step. Cause I've never, never done that. So my mind's just constantly like, what do I need to work more hours? Do I need to be doing more stuff on the internet? Do I need to be networking more that if I do take time for myself, I'm just, I feel guilty. I'm like, you should That's money out the window. I yeah. should be doing something. But I do want to get back into training once the new year starts just because it is a good outlet of yeah. just getting sweaty and gross and just. Yeah. Mentally, it's a good. Like, oh, yeah. It always feels so, like it feels when you're yeah. like doing something. And I talked about this last time, like last last week. Last week, I was taking an exam and I like wanted to take a couple of days off in the mornings to study and like do stuff like that when I was going to go roll. And like the week before I was doing, uh, like I went three or four days that week or whatever. And it like that week, even just that week being off and like not doing it, I was like, oh, it's kind of suck. Like it just felt, yeah. I didn't yeah. like the way it felt, even though it's like, you know, like you said, like you're taking time for you, sure. but mentally it puts you in a much better place. Like mm -hmm. it's so worth it. It does. I think. And, and yeah. I feel like what helps with jujitsu is like you have an end goal of getting better at that thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. and like I found in all the times that I've been sad or like, I wouldn't say that I've felt depression because I feel like that's something heavier than maybe I understand. So I've gotten sad in life, but like right. it feels like if I have a concert or I have something like a jujitsu tournament or a class I'm looking forward to, if I have something ahead of me that I can look forward to, it alleviates the sadness like times whatever like it just helps get it off my mind because i'm like well i can look forward to that and then i need to start to set up something past that too sure. to look mm -hmm. forward to so like maybe a concert or something isn't a goal per se but it's like something i'm working towards and mm -hmm. like yeah. even if it's just counting down the days i'm working towards that thing yeah that's like mm -hmm. we get like stand-up comedy tickets all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. I got um. Yeah, I want to see Nate That's right. in February, and then Tom in April, and then Angela Johnson in June. But I think I'm gonna go see Ron White. He's coming here. Yeah. So, so the jealous thing I feel about this is like we had to go away to go see all these people, yeah. and now on this all exact coming. tour, all and now they're all coming here. here, and <laughs> we already got tickets to the Ron White thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we yeah. got tickets to see him. He added a second show, and I feel like. 
I think that second show is already sold out. Okay. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's like he is doing a show the next day in, I think it's in Georgia. It's like That's it's fine. not too yeah. far away, yeah. but he's doing an, he's doing another show the next day. Wouldn't be a bad getaway. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. I want to go see Christina P too because oh, I love I your mom's house so much. Yeah. Dude, Tom's going to be wild to see him live. That's going to be It dude. was weird. Like, we thought about it too because, like, we, I mean, we love stand up, right? Mm -hmm. But we like to, like, we will talk about, like, the bits and the timing and all that kind of stuff because we're, like, sure. really into it, right? So, like, I thought it would be interesting to see because that was at the beginning of his tour when we saw him mm -hmm. in or Jackson. The diff yeah, what you're but I want to see, like, six months down the road or whatever when he's had time to cut and clean and like get the timing down and everything and see how different the show feels you know like that's like yeah. the like, interesting part and, in, you know and the yeah. whole what is dope about it is almost the same like like a linear thought is like you see him and then you'll see like it actually come out what jokes that you saw yeah. actually make the cut yeah. because you'll see stuff that people will never know made it and yeah. then you also got to think like when like the comedy store was booming, mm -hmm. how many of the jokes were just landing on the floor and never making it to a oh, special sure. oh, that yeah. these people got to see live? Like Louis C.K. just dropped the new special. Mm -hmm. It's called the, Sorry. Have you seen it yet? The isn't it one that's just online only? On yeah. his yeah. website only. Mm -hmm. So you had to buy it and download it. Like we saw last year, or yeah, it was last mm -hmm. last November. I think it came out. Or December, but it was called like Yours Truly or Sincerely Sincere Yours. yours yeah. And now this year, sorry, and we haven't seen it yet. Uh, yeah, we haven't watched but it. But I cannot wait to watch it. I'm hearing like great reviews on yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I've been dating a stand up, a local stand up uh, comedian who's been doing stand up for about five or six years. And he was doing it, you know, back in high school when we knew each other. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm seeing it from like the, with the start of like, I've got a bit in my head. I've got this idea. And then you listen to a podcast and then to go see it live. Like yeah. I see like kind of the, the know, inner workings. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that's a lot. Like what's going on in y'all's head? Yeah. Like, yeah. Is he thinking about other girls? Nope. He's coming up with nope. a bit. Okay. But... <laughs> he's trying to figure out how to make this bit work. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's interesting. Like it's, oh, there's so, yeah, there's even so if much it's like a perfect into. story, a oh, yeah. perfect bit, to execute the delivery oh gosh, of it, mm -hmm. you got to be good at that. You can't yeah. just have a perfect bit given to you. Mm -hmm. Like something happened in front of you. Like I had a really good situation and I have it written down and I, I don't want to do it here, but it's like I've done it where it killed in front of people. And then I've done it to where somebody was like, you just bombed. What was supposed to be? Yeah. Funny. They were like, I'm sorry. <laughs> was that funny? And yeah. I was like, not to you. Yeah, asshole. obviously not. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeah, so got to like, work on that, dude. You got to let us know how those shows go because I will. we've seen both of them. And like, if you make it, if you get tickets to the Ron thing, let us know because we're yeah, going to the second sure. show. But okay, yeah, yeah we'll let you know so. how that goes. Yeah, I need to get on that like ASAP. I saw it um, in my email the other day, and I'm just kind of dance around i'm like oh, maybe i shouldn't do it i'm like yeah as soon as i saw a drop i would love because it. i tried to get a t tickets to the first show and i couldn't because it sold out and I, I told him i was like dude i tried getting those tickets but the ones that i could have gotten were like crazy expensive and sure. i was like not worth it yeah. right dude so. tom's was tom's was up there pricey yeah. but worth it and i don't care like yeah. i'm at the point where i'm like dude i'm not shoving shit up my nose so i'm like i'll see you yeah that right? yeah, so, yeah. The this is where all i the... told you i was in mm-hmm those tickets were twenty dollars. Shut up! I got the tickets and I got, I ordered balcony seats, uh -huh. but apparently at this venue, B A L doesn't stand for balcony. It stands for like ballroom floor. How would you have known mm. that? Yeah, and like, I was like, here, <laughs> anywhere I've ever anywhere gotten us tickets, ever. Sanger all the way. To yeah, the back. yeah. Anytime dude. I ever got us ever. tickets, it's always B A L, and I always try to get the front row of that, so you can put your feet on something. Sure. Right. And no, dude, it this was like over here. He does. a big finger, dude. Big finger. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, she like took us to the front row and I was like, no. Nope. Are we it, VIP? Like, yeah, no, she took us right there and I was like, <laughs> no, that's okay. But this says this. And she goes, yeah, that's here. And I was like, okay. okay. Thank you. And All I was right. like, they're going to pull us out of the I, middle I, yeah. of the show. I, I sat down with my girl and I was like, just be prepared to move because like this old lady she doesn't know she's, she's probably just doing this part time she, yeah <laughs> she she dude the whole show me. happened the camera sitting behind us and i was like surely they're gonna move us somebody's gonna be pissed we're in their seats no dude she was telling the truth that's exactly where they were and that's i was like crazy. also like sitting there after i found out that those were the tickets i was like how the fuck were these twenty dollars 
Yeah, that blows my mind. Have you ever what? looked up front row tickets to any show? It's definitely three digits plus. Oh, yeah, Our, they're like four hundred dollars. We're for... orchestra. I think we're like orchestra J or K, and that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a wild. Her mic cut out, but yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Big number, she said. Lots of them. Lots of the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. No, those the comedy show tickets don't don't mess around. I'm really stoked to see Ron though. Yeah. Like I've lo- I've always loved Ron White. So I'm that'll be interesting so because stoked. it's like his his comedy has developed over the years that it's not just like so tater salad. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. so it's like, and he's like said he's gonna retire from touring, so he's just gonna do like one off shows. Sure. So it'll be interesting mm-hmm. to see if this is his last big go. Yeah. Like it's what's gonna up? be it's gonna be heavy. Yeah. Be I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. 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 Well, um, we're we're gonna wrap this, but is there anything you wanna like plug before we get out of here? Um everybody just take care of themselves. Or, oh yeah. Anything other than the Ron White show you're coming up with? Any other or I guess you're not even going no, we're going to the Ron White show. <laughs> hey, I'm man, real excited about it. Are you it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so any you said those three. You said Nate, Tom and uh Angela, Angela Johnson. Angela Von Johnson. Quickly. Anybody um, else you're looking at to go see? Um, other than Christina P, I don't know. I should have gotten. Is she the... coming near, or are you she's... just wanting to go? Yeah, see Yeah, I think she's doing Georgia and like mm. Tampa is closest to us. Right. Um, I want to see Nikki Glazer. Oh, dude, that'd be I think she would be so fun because I feel like she's not like the gripe on women comics is like sure. they talk about like fucking their pussy yeah. and like that's it. But yeah. it's like she talks about that too. But I feel like she. Says it from like a dude's point of view. Yeah. Well, she also went through a really dark spot where she, you know, had to check herself into. Um, yeah, yeah. And that, she has so. a podcast. She's had multiple podcasts, right. mm-hmm. so it's like she's like in the yeah. know of how to talk and like. I she, don't know. Yeah, that'd be a good one to look into. But no, I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do with. I'm kind of worried about the new COVID variant. What it's gonna do for shows. Mm. So yeah, because that's wanna... what. When are those shows? February, April, and June. So, and I think the Ron one's in March. March, yeah. Mm-hmm. But when we went to the shows in Jacksonville and Mobile, they were pretty relaxed. They didn't even give a shit about my, like. Yeah, where was the show that all. they? That was New Orleans, the New Orleans show, the Sebastian show, right? That they. They were like. I think we had to wear it in. But you could take it off after. Like, no, there was one that they made us wear it the entire time. I thought it was the Sebastian. I think it was, then. Yeah, I think Sebastian. But that might be but because he's like top yeah, five in the yeah. world right now. That might yeah. be he, him being like, yeah. dude. When we saw Joe Rogan, like, what was that? Like three years ago or something? It was a while ago now. Yeah, he was like, like the years. first and only people we've ever oh, been to where they used the cricket or the the, the thing where thing. you have to put this in a bag and oh, you get wow. to hold yeah. it. But it's in a locked bag in your possession. Yeah, you cannot so you unlock the bag. Fo- yeah, I've like, never heard of that in my yeah. life. Yeah, and I mean, I mean he had, had to pay one for since. it. We haven't, we haven't been to one Not since. Not one since. Like that. But I think it's because he's got the money. He's one of the top sure. comics in the world, yeah. mm-hmm. so he can afford to have those luxuries. Yeah. Like Tom was just like, "Hey, man, hey, if you you just film up front. If you're gonna film, just do it now. I'll pose. Yeah. All right, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Okay, bet. Yeah. yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's. We'll see what comes out in the end of 2022 because it's starting oh. off with <laughs> some great people coming here. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm I'm interested. It seems like Pensacola is really pulling for that stuff. So hopefully it stays hopefully. bouncing back well, that hard. I mean, hard. if we keep selling out shows like it has been, you know, yeah. like I mean, every show has been selling out. So it's like, I mean, Bert has I think three shows here now. I can't stand Bert Kreischer. Like I really <laughs> think he has. <laughs> He's so gross. He, uh, yeah. but I think like he has three shows. Mm. So it's like if we keep, you know, people keep buying tickets. Mm-hmm. Hopefully yeah. they'll, hopefully they'll keep. Somebody's got to buy them. <laughs> dude, I, there's more people here that like Bert Kreischer than you think, dude. Oh, of I know. They do. Yeah, I'm finding that out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. a lot on. Mm, yeah. mm. <laughs> Burnt <laughs> crystals. Burnt crystals. <laughs> well, uh, hell yeah. We're, we're yeah, going to get out of here? Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you for coming and hanging out. We yeah, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Show. We're going to get the fuck up out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. We love you. Yee!